Geekers, I'm Nick. Now, the last video we did was a special build video for a streaming setup that we've kind of been spruiking around the place for a little while, and today I decided that I would show you the space and address a few of the things that we need to do before we can get up and running, and a few little cool bits of tech that you can use for your own house and your own streaming setup. And as you can probably notice, the lighting where I'm standing, this is like halfway into the space, look absolutely terrible. Like the, the color temperature is wrong and it's just not good. So the first bit of tech we're gonna show you is to do with ambient lighting. We're gonna walk through all of that after the intro. Just as a caveat, as we kick this video off, no one has sponsored this video at all. Like we've paid for everything. We've spent a considerable amount of money uh, accruing parts for this for now. Obviously there will be sponsors that will be sponsoring other parts of the build, but for all the ambient lighting and all that jazz, we spent a butt ton of money that we didn't have to make this all work. With that said, we wanted to show you one of the things that we think is a really cool bit of smart home equipment from a company called LifeX. Now, what we're going to do instead of keeping these terrible colored down lights, we're actually going to be replacing them with RGB smart down lights. We can control this via a mobile app on your phone, or in our case, the stream setup will be able to send notifications to these lights. So if someone like makes a donation or like a super chat or just anything like that, uh, or like a new follower or whatever, the lights will change colors and all of that stuff in the whole setup. So yeah, we've been, We've been researching this for a long time. We've done lots of streaming setups, but we wanted to take it to the next level so you feel like you're part of the stream. So let's uh, check these out and I'll quickly run you through the way that I would recommend it setting these up and then I'm gonna get up on a little step ladder and put it in the roof and then we're gonna see what it looks like. <laughs> LifeX downloads are pretty straightforward. They, they're, they're, they're pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. I think they're about 100 Australian dollars each. We actually got a deal at JB Hi-Fi, and if you're watching this close to when we release this video, you could probably still grab it. I think they're doing, was it, was it four for $2.99. That's still really expensive, but they are pretty good. And we've used LifeX RGB and like smart lighting products for many years, and they've always been really good. So in the box, literally, this is a brand new one. You've got your down light, and you've got a quick setup guide. And because they have a quick setup guide, I'm not actually gonna run through this. I'll uh, hold this up to the camera, and you can pause the frame to look at the instructions because it is literally that easy to set up. But one of the things that they don't tell you to do in the manual, and something that I do recommend that you do if you, sorry Claire, you can have all the rubbish. One thing I would recommend that you do with these lights if you're setting them up for the same time, and I'm still making a point of the lighting being terrible, is I would recommend before putting them in your roof and getting up on a ladder and swapping them out, plugging them in and setting them up before you have to climb up a ladder or something. This one hasn't been set up yet, but I have set up this other one. So I'll just show you these. These are very straightforward. I'll try not to electrocute myself. You, it, I'm not going to, let's be honest. Plug it in. This one's already completely RGB-ified, and now I can use my mobile telephone, my mobile device, in true Sam Beckman style to change the lighting color. Okay, no, don't update the firmware on the light, come on now. The LifeX software is pretty good. We actually use some LifeX stuff in the normal studio as well. Obviously, only a tiny bit of it, but as you can see here, for ambient lighting from the roof down, it's going to look pretty phenomenal. And one other cool thing about these lights as well is you can actually change the angle of them as their downlight. So a lot of other downlights, they'll fill in the whole size of the fitting itself, but these ones, you can point them at stuff in your room, which is very, very cool. So yeah, if you're looking at doing an ambient lighting solution in your house or streaming setup, 
I recommend these. I already run these in my own office as well and I can tell you they're really, really good. So the idea of buying these was just the logical next step. Okay, so just take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. I'm not an electrician. I'm not making any recommendations based on anything being legal because it could be different in your region when it comes to this stuff. But these down lights are actually just regular plugs. So in your region, they'll probably be similar. So this is the Australian plug if you've never seen it before. And the down lights in our house actually have a power point in the roof. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do this. But if you are doing it, uh, please be careful with this stuff. I'm on a step ladder. I'm being as safe as possible. Basically what you want to do is pull the light straight down. Now, I'll tell you what, when I did this one time, they, they used little spring-loaded mechanisms and they can snap on your fingers like a mousetrap. So you just need to be careful that they don't do that. And as I'm about to show you now, as we pull this out, out comes the little box, out comes all the other cables, and then we have a power point. But it might be different for your house. This is not a one size fits all. This is just if you have this type of setup in your house and you, you'll want to make sure that power point is switched off. And all you want to do then is go ahead and plug in the light, push everything back into your roof. And then you'll notice that this has a little spring loaded mechanism. Just gonna make sure we've got the correct angle. Lift up the spring loaded mechanism and then push it back into the roof and you should be good to go. And Claire, my lady, hit the lights. Let's see what happens. Hey, that's a, that's a nice color. Let's, and I'll show you now with my phone that I showed a little bit earlier. Now I can change all of the colors of the rainbow. Yes, I am aware that this is my most unflattering angle ever. And I look like I'm as white as a house. But yeah, let's just blame the, the, the camera position and the lens. Yep. And the burger you ate for lunch. Shut up, Claire. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't do it like that. Yeah, she reckons not to do it like that. I don't care what she says. I'm going to do it anyway. Excuse me. <laughs> I said the clear double-sided tape. We don't have any clear That's double. That's why you go and get some. I don't want to do that. That's lazy. We already have the stuff here. Yes, but what if you want to take it off later? You'll ruin the table. We could ruin the table. It's okay. Maybe I don't want to ruin the table. We will ruin the table. Guys, Living with you is hard. Smash the like button if you want us to ruin the table. Oh. bit of gear that I recommend you use if you're wanting to do like some nice cable management and it's something that we actually use on all of our setups here like including my office, Claire's office, basically everywhere that we have a computer is this Signum rack from IKEA and it's like a well-known cable management tool that almost every like YouTuber that talks about doing PC setups it recommends and in Australia they cost around 13 Australian dollars I, I suspect they will be like a equivalent price in your region, but yeah, they're pretty good Really easy to install. There's two ways you can install them I'm not going to show how to install them because they're, they're basically like Super easy to install but what I would recommend doing is just drilling some pilot holes first and putting in the little plastic inserts and then screwing them in but yeah I, I didn't really want to show that because we're not like a how-to <laughs> building channel and, and that's not what we really do around here. We just like to have fun and show you guys a way to do things. <laughs> it may not be the right way, but it is a way that has worked for us for many, many years. So I hope everything that we've done in this video uh, can somewhat help you get an idea of what you want to do with your own setup. Obviously there's going to be other parts of this series as well. The first part, well really this is the second part, is about ambient lighting and a little bit of cable management and putting the desk together because we are actually waiting for a bunch of really really cool hardware that we're going to be using in here. But for now I want to share like some really basic stuff with you. Yeah, just because that's what I like to do. I like to inspire you guys to level up your own setups and level up your own PCs and that's what we're about. We're about seeking gear and even small things like smart lighting is gear. Hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit different than usual video. It's not something that we would traditionally do and to be honest I had a whole lot of fun making this video because it felt like I was making videos for my old channel like because it was just I don't know, I, I got out of my regular Gear Seekers groove today and kind of, yeah, just had a little bit of a play around, a little bit of a joke. I love making these kind of videos. Now, I just want to address a few things at the end of this video. LifeX did not sponsor this video. This is all stuff that we bought with our own hard-earned money. We've been using their products for years, so we trust them. And even when we have had failures with their products, we've just sent them a quick Twitter DM and they've sent out replacements almost instantly, which is... Uh, a lot better than I can say for a lot of other manufacturers out there. And the other thing I wanted to mention is when you're doing stuff around your house with electronics and like things that can potentially kill you, please exercise common sense. And if you're not confident, please contact an electrician to help you with this kind of stuff. See, for us, we were lucky because we have the power points in the roof, so it's literally a matter of plugging something in and unplugging something, so it wasn't too difficult. But your setup might be different, so please don't kill yourselves. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys had fun with us on our little journey, and I I, I literally had a ball. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm rejuvenated today. It's just been so much fun getting handy and putting stuff together. I don't know, it, it's, it's awesome for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, you know what to do, hit the like button. If you didn't, you tell us what you hated about it. If you wanna support the channel, we've got a join button or you can come and join us on Floatplane. 
as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm just so keen for this setup. Now, as you can probably hear as well, it's a little bit echoing in here. Well, it's okay, because we're gonna have a whole video talking about how to correctly acoustically treat a room. Because I've got a music background as well, I might know a, a thing or two about acoustic treatment. Okay, thanks for watching. Today was good. Oh, and if you're watching this part of the video, we've got some spicy new reviews coming soon. And something you're not expecting.